Pain and suffering has a way of purifying. It has a way of burning off the arrogance. It has a way of burning through to the goodness which God put there in the beginning, but which was flawed through sin, through neglect, perpetually turning away from God. And that pain and suffering, like in the words of Scripture, it's like putting gold or silver in a crucible, subjecting it to high heat, and burning off the dross. That's what suffering does. It puts us in an intense fire, and the impurities are burned off. And we human beings have lots of impurities. We have a lot of purifying to go through before we become Christ. Before Jesus shines through and manifests himself through us to the world. Never compare yourself to another person. Never. Only compare yourself to Jesus. We're created in the image of God. We're not created in the image of Joe Doak or Susie Q. We're created in the image of God. How bright and how shiny is the image? Have you checked your image? Well, if you fall short, and we all do, then we've got a lot of work to do. And the shortcut is the cross. Not a shortcut. It's the only way. But really, the way to high sanctity is the cross. Now, you all know what it is. You mothers, you fathers, who anguish and suffer because of a child, you know what suffering is. You know what emotional strain is. You worry about their immortal soul. You groan and you cry to God. You pray day and night. You're on the cross with Christ. People who have physical problems, maybe cancer, maybe severe arthritis, whatever it might be, that's Jesus. Let the suffering bring you in touch with him. It's one of the things that we have in common with the Savior. The other thing that it's meant to bring out is love. Embrace the cross. When we've done everything we can, we've gone to the doctor, if it's physical, we've talked to the children, we've done all we can, and then there's nothing left but to leave it in God's hands, then embrace it. Don't drag the cross. Embrace the cross. Love it with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength, and great power will flow through you. This is the secret of Christianity, the secret of the cross. This is how you will become great with the greatness of Christ.